Good morning and welcome to the Chieftain Report from Logan High School. Today is Friday, March 18th. I'm Nicholas Kudlapore. And I'm Nicole Wilcox. Today on the Chieftain Report we have Lane Little with your Chieftain Sports and Paul Duffy with the weather. And later, some science facts and a PSA. But first, here are your announcements. Congratulations to the Logan High School Symphonic Band, who received a superior rating last Friday, March 11th, at the Central Ohio District 15 Band Contest. A superior rating is the top rating a band can receive, and this was Logan's 27th particular superior rating at the District Band Contest. Great job, guys and gals. Talent show auditions will be held March 21st through the 23rd after school in room 316. Here's David Vickroy for more information. Do you have a hidden talent that no one knows about? Such as singing. First I was afraid, I was petrified. Dancing. Magic. Or juggling. If so, you need to try out for the 2016 LHS Talent Show. All right, everybody. Time is running out to ensure that you get a yearbook for this school year. The deadline for orders will be April 1st. You can either order your yearbook online at smartpay.com, by phone at 1-800-853-1337, or by mailing in an order form you can get either in Mrs. Barry's room room 219, or in the main office. The address to mail to is on the form. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this opportunity. 30 years down the road, you may enjoy looking at all the wonderful people you went to school with. The prom dress recycling program is looking for new dresses, so please donate your dress if you have one from a past dance. You can either bring a dress in or receive a new prom dress at 160 East Main Street, the Salon on Main. This program is available until April 19th. Congratulations to Ezra Bucky, Alexis Long, Seth Primmer, Jeremy Williams, and Maya Schultz, who have all been chosen as the 2016 Chieftain Scholars. Thanks for your hard work and dedication, folks. The LHS Chamber Choir Singers got an excellent rating in Class A at OMEA Large Group Contest on March 12th. Congrats to all the choir members. This past Tuesday was yet another Super Tuesday, which meant more important results for the presidential primary race. On the Republican side, Tuesday was a big night for Donald Trump and John Kasich. Mr. Trump won elections in Florida, Illinois, and North Carolina, while Governor Kasich won his home state of Ohio. After losing to Trump in the Florida primary, Senator Marco Rubio has decided it's time to hang up the racing shoes for now by dropping out of the presidential campaign. Meanwhile, on the Democratic side of things, Tuesday was a huge night for Hillary Clinton, as she made big strides toward the Democratic nominee with wins in four states, including Florida and Ohio. Things are really heating up, folks. In local news, the Roundhouse besides Kroger recently caught fire and was destroyed. With State Fire Marshal called to investigate, the cause is yet to, be yet to be determined. The weather has been really nice this week, but will it continue? Here's Paul Duffy with the Chieftain Weather. Good morning, Logan High School. Sadly, the warm weather we have been having is going away for the weekend. But don't worry everybody, it'll be back by the middle of this coming week. But for today, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 60 and a low of 40. Tomorrow, a storm front will move in in the afternoon and continue throughout the night. The high will be 50 with a low of 38. Sunday, there is a chance for mixed rain and snow showers through the morning into late afternoon with a high of 45 and a low of 33. Uh, Monday, will be a high of 37 with a low of 21 and it'll be cloudy. To wrap out the five-day forecast, Tuesday, we'll have a high of 54 with a low of 21. That's all for this week. Paul Duffy, TV2 Weather. Here's Lane Little with your Chieftain Sports.
Congratulations to Aaron Streitenberger, Jordan Carroll, Lindsey Downs, and junior Paige Simons for being named first team all FCC. Streitenberger was also named FCC Player of the Year. All SCOC is determined by individual scoring averages on the basis of the top five averages being first team, the next five averages second team, and 11th through 15th honorable mention. Streitenberger earned all conference first team status, and junior Austin Huffines was second team honoree for the boys. Downs and Simons each claimed second team honors on the girls team. The LHS Archery team finished third of 26 high school teams. The team score was 3,349, being only 11 points from first place. The top two other teams were Philo and Marysville in that order. The top shooters for Logan were senior Brittany Harden, who was the third overall girl, scoring 290, and senior Jordan Carroll, who was the fourth overall boy, scoring 289. And now here are some sights and sounds from the tournaments. Now here's Noah Schindelbeck for a look at March Madness. We found some of the strangest March Madness mascots and decided to ask some LHS students who would win in a head-to-head -head battle. So uh, in the match between the Terrapins and the Jackrabbit, I think the Terrapin will win because the Turtle always wins the race. I think the Buffaloes could beat the Huskies because the Buffalo could probably stomp out the Huskies. I think the Golden Bears would beat the Rainbow Warriors because they're bears. Uh, I think a Friar would beat a Trojan because the Friars have God on their side. I think a Hoosier would beat a Mock because nobody knows what a Hoosier is. I think an Owl would be able to beat a Hawkeye because a Hawkeye is only an eye. If you see a Terrapin running from a Jayhawk, you know why. It's March Madness. Noah Schindelbeck, TV2. That's all for this week. Lane Little, 2-2 two -two Sports. Now here's Joe Murs with the Science Fact. The word equinox is derived from Latin and means equal night. Twice a year, the amount of day and night are nearly equal. In the spring, this is known as the vernal equinox. In the fall, the autumnal equinox. These dates were important to ancient cultures because they signaled that it was time to plant and harvest crops. Today, many myths exist around the equinox. Eggs and brooms that stand on their own are possible any time of the year if you have enough patience. So enjoy the longer days and sunshine ahead. Doomers, TV2. Now here's a TV2 PSA. Animals do so much for the human race. Do we really need to make animals look bad in advertisement too? Isn't using them as food enough? In the United States, over 28 million of them die each day so that we may live. If animals had a union, things would be different. That's all from us for today, Chieftain Nation. Until next time, I'm Nicholas Kudlapur. And I'm Nicole Wilcox. From TV2, The, the Deuce. Deuce.
shot. Will be held. Ten percent battery. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I looked over there. <laughs> An excellent rating. And <laughs> I just start thinking about it, and that makes me laugh. As always. <laughs> Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side.